because your truth comes so incomplete. I just don't understand it. LeBron James in his first year, 24 years of age, of his first MVP year, 24 years of age, he averaged 29, 8, and 7. Last year, he averaged 26, 8, and 7. Yeah, he shot true, yeah. fifty. He shot five. He's shooting five percent better from the field than his MVP year, and he's shooting seven percent better from three than in his MVP year. The difference, the difference between then and now is he's slowing down his team, right? And then on top of that, these stats are empty. They're empty. Without these stats, the Lakers would not even be competitive. They wouldn't be in the play-in tournament, winning the in-season tournament. You talking about yes. empty stats? They would. They, I keep trying to tell you, they're still a play-in team without LeBron. <laughs> they're still a play-in team because the level of game rises up from all the other players. They can actually reach their potential with LeBron off the floor. You you know I hate I, and I know we we about Trans. to be in an election, you know it's election time. Ba just keep com- campaigning this that the Lakers roster is so better without LeBron on the basketball court. I don't know what evidence he's going off of. I'm tired of playing. I'm I'm tired of playing paying his taxes. I'm tired of paying his taxes. You're not getting. No, I'm not paying your taxes no more, LeBron. I'm not. And we and Lord we're not going to win. You, we're not winning without LeBron. You're not, you're not, you're not going to, you're going to be in the same place. You're not going to win a championship with or without him. But I'm just saying, you might as well start trying to build and move forward without him and let everybody else that has that potential, let them reach that potential. They can never reach that potential with LeBron because LeBron takes that away from them. And not only does he take that away from them on the court, off the court, he does as well by doing whatever type of whatever type of stuff and bringing the lights in. It, it pays the Lakers. It pays. It's keeping the lights on for the franchise, but it's still taking away from the players. It's taking away from the players. Austin Reeves can be better. AD could probably step his game up a, a different notch because they'll look forward to him and he'll get used to being the man and actually be a leader one time in his in his life. Um, uh, uh, D'Lo, D'Lo can be better. Uh, the Dalton Connect could come in and, and do things and help the team get better, but they got to grow and be this. LeBron breaks all of that up because one, he has problems with the coaches. Then he gonna have a problem with JJ Reddick. He gonna get an attitude and be like, "I thought you was my bestie." And then he gonna split the team in half like he did with Darvin Ham. And then once he splits that team in half like he did with Darvin Ham, it's gonna be like everybody gonna be like, "Oh my gosh!" And then they gonna blame the coach, and the coach is gonna be the scapegoat. That's the one. And then number two is he like to sit on that ball. He like to sit on that ball and try to orchestrate everything. And you ain't even moving like that. You ain't built like that no more. That's your pastime. That's your pastime. <laughs> I could go on and on. <laughs> it's a lot. It's Thank a lot you. That he... you. Got any reaction to this? Because it's 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 well, just, it's out of power. I've... It's very I somewhat much somewhat agreed. I, I'm not, I don't do the LeBron hate that he does, but I've somewhat agreed with him that they could still win without him. We've said this on a couple episodes before because we've seen the evidence, the sample size when he was out injured, when they made that trade with Darvin Ham, they were like 20, was it 20 something in three without him? I mean, yeah. they, they possibly can do, do a run, but of course, if Anthony Davis go down, there goes the season. They beat the they they beat the boss they beat the world champs this they year. They beat Boston, Boston. And they beat Milwaukee. But y'all yeah, are let this him. y'all are letting bro. Don't let that fool y'all. Y'all are bugging no. out. The you, NBA season is an eighty-two game journey, bro. It is not about yeah. a couple of games. You but really the think 80, the Lakers would have a winning record over eighty-two yes. game stretch without LeBron James? Yes, they got to play still, a little different. They're playing yeah, different. With they're going to play a little. They're going to play a lot different because they're going to share the opportunities with the ball. They're going to get more cohesive. LeBron breaks all of that cohesion up. He's done it ever since he's been in a Laker jersey. That's why he hasn't been successful except for the bubble gum when he had three or four other Hall of Famers with him. I'm about to put B.A. in the hot seat because he acting <laughs> like he know everything. So let's get down to it, Lakerland. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Also, Lakerland, in the live chat, if you guys uh, check out our Discord link that's pinned to the uh, live chat at the top, 
Join our Lakers Land Discord for our 24 7 this uh Lakers debates. So let me go ahead and ask you three things, BA, because I know three problems with the Lakers, three real problems with these Los Angeles Lakers. And I want to know how the hell you're going to put LeBron James in the blame of any of these. Starting off with these sign-in deals with the Christian Woods and the Vandos and, the, and, and all these Cam Reddishes, all these guys that got these little sign-in deals that Rob Palenka gave. And now half of these guys are not even going to be available to play because they were injured. How is LeBron James to blame for that? How is LeBron James? I can't blame LeBron for them being injured. I can't. Okay, I can't. so that's one of the big problems for the Lakers. A real problem for the Lakers is the, the the lack of availability. So that's not LeBron's fault. Okay, let's move on to the second one. You're telling me that that deplete you. I'm seeing Trap Butter in the live chat talking about LeBron James don't play defense, which is laughable to me. So Get you're him, telling trap. me you don't. You're Get telling him, me. Butter. That LeBron is the reason for the that that depleted defense in the backcourt of D'Angelo Russell and Austin Reeves, their their defensive liability that they have as a backcourt. You're telling me that LeBron is yes. the blame for that? Yes, because he stunts their growth offensively and defensively. And LeBron doesn't even that back door is crazy. The back door game is crazy. LeBron don't even know how to hold the back door. He don't even know how to shade his man no more. Cause why? Because he don't got he don't he don't got that energy. He ain't he ain't like that no more. He not only in spurts. I'm not campaigning trigger that LeBron is this lockdown defender. That he LeBron is this at all. Stop lying to the American public. BA That's why I say LeBron get rid don't of play LeBron. defense. Get rid of LeBron and bring Luca over. Watch the big. He's been doing that difference. since Cleveland though. Seven. He's been. No, he, he, like, he didn't tail back on his defense a little bit to preserve energy. Exactly. He have the to. Best, the best he has version to. of him defensively, he had a Miami Heat jersey on. And when he had that Miami Heat jersey on, he still had to have Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh and all of them role players to have his back. Bro, LeBron is a safety. He's every. Read oh, of the no, defense. No, he don't no, have no. to be attacking all the time. That's oh, not no. his role. That's not what he no. needs to be doing. He said he's a safety. You had the audacity to say bring Luca in, one of the weakest, he's the weakest defensive superstar in the NBA. And y'all are gonna win ten plus games. Y'all gonna be a sixth or a fifth seed. Y'all not gonna be number ten. <laughs> y'all not gonna be number nine. Y'all are gonna be a top five seed. My fault. I'm disrespecting Luca. Y'all gonna be a top five seed with Luca. With the same, take LeBron out. Put Luca where LeBron is with AD. Them. Watch, watch. You gonna be a top five, maybe even top four seed with the same exact squad. Just watch. Mm. And they're still gonna get media because he's an international player. Talk to him, Hank. Talk to this man. He gonna be the one that's paying the Lakers bills, keeping the lights on, like LeBron is doing now. For all the latest news and debates on the Los Angeles Lakers, be sure to subscribe here to the Lakers Land platform with Seven Mitchell, BA, and Hank. Also, don't forget to check out our playback room. For our free VIP watch parties to all our Lakers games and, of course, the live Lakerland podcast. That's playback.tv slash Lakersland.